I kept an intrigue. In this video, I will be adding a powerful new real-time voice changer to my superhero armor, and I'll show you how to make one for yourself, and even where to buy one if you aren't tech-savvy. I am Captain Intrigue. I previously added a voice changer to my Mark 1 superhero armor in this video six years ago, but that unit was too big, bulky, and expensive, so it's time for an upgraded design for use with my current Mark 3 armor. But what is a voice changer? A voice changer is an electronic device designed to alter and disguise a person's voice, often by bending the pitch up or down, or by distorting the style of your voice to sound like a robot, adding echo, reverb, vibrato, or some other special effects. All too easy. Voice changers are mostly used in Halloween costumes and cosplay to provide a dramatic theatrical effect and make your costume sound otherworldly and memorable. They're also used to disguise a person's voice for security purposes, practical jokes, or just for fun. A voice changer greatly enhances the theatrical effect of a costume, and theatrics are an essential part of any superhero persona. Superheroes are heroes who embrace the use of theatrics. Some examples of effective theatric effects used by superheroes are bright colors, flashy costumes, capes, and of course, an altered voice. The theatrics are what makes them stand out from a regular hero and make them appear larger than life. The voice changer greatly enhances this theatrical effect. He's all yours. For this new voice changer, I wanted something much smaller than the previous version and also much louder. Now that I'm wearing a tactical helmet, which I built in this video, it's sometimes difficult for others to hear me when I'm speaking, so I needed the voice changer to be loud and I also wanted it to sound intimidating. I wanted it to bend the pitch of my voice to a slightly lower octave similar to the voice of Batman in the Batman vs Superman movie. That voice is commonly known as the Batfleck style among fans. Tell me, do you bleed? I did a lot of research, I built a few prototype circuits, and I tested out some cheap voice changers sold online, but most of them had two major problems. The first issue is that whenever you power them off and then back on again, you have to go back and re-enter your settings, since they have no internal memory for the voice settings. Also, most of those cheap voice changers have very low quality audio that sounds garbled and noisy. These issues might be okay for a simple Halloween costume, but for any serious cosplayer or someone building a suit of armor, we need a better solution. Eventually, I found a great solution which uses an Arduino-based digital voice changer with high quality sound. It was created by a company called Adafruit, and it uses an Arduino microcontroller and a wave shield to alter the pitch of your voice either up or down. The voice quality is excellent, but most importantly it stores the settings even after it's powered down. It does require soldering and downloading some code into the Arduino, but I also found a source online where you can buy it assembled and ready to use, so no advanced electronics experience is needed. Stay tuned till the end and I'll reveal where you can buy one. This voice changer only allows you to vary the pitch of your voice, up or down, to sound like a high-pitched child or a very low-pitched monster, and anywhere in between. It doesn't have any reverb, vibrato, echo, or robot effects. But even without those effects, it still sounds amazing. And since the audio signal is being digitally processed through the Arduino, it helps to reduce the problem of audio feedback inherent in all voice amplifiers. This is due to the fact that there's a small millisecond delay between the time you speak and the time it takes for the Arduino to process the signal and output the altered voice. For us it sounds instantaneous because the delay is not even perceivable, but that tiny delay helps to reduce audio feedback significantly. My previous voice changer used speakers and amplifiers mounted on my leg armor because I had ran out of places to mount them anywhere else on my armor. It worked great, but it was too big, too bulky, and too difficult to put on since it required an audio cable to be routed down each of my legs. I experimented with using Bluetooth to transmit the signal to my legs, but high voltage circuits in the armor would interfere with the signal. Also, it's risky to use Bluetooth for a loudly amplified voice changer because if there's a problem with the signal, it's possible your voice changer can make some extremely loud and annoying noises during a malfunction. I'll keep experimenting with using Bluetooth, but for now I want to keep it simple. Unfortunately, it wasn't feasible to fit the voice changer into my helmet, so for my Mark III armor, I decided to install the voice changer into my backpack, 
along with the rest of the electronics and power systems. This allows me to swap the backpack between my various armors and the voice changer will go with it, meaning I only need to build one backpack and one voice changer and I can use it for multiple suits of armor interchangeably. To amplify the voice signal, I used a 50 watt mini stereo amplifier, links in the description and I use the amplifier to drive two exciters instead of speakers. Of course this amp is overkill, but it matched the physical size of the voice changer circuit perfectly, and I also wasn't sure how much noise I would have at full power, so I chose this amp so I could turn the volume way down and have less noise. In hindsight, I could have went with a much smaller amplifier. Speakers work by energizing an electromagnetic coil with an amplified audio signal in close proximity to a magnet. This causes the coil to vibrate at the frequency of the audio signal. The vibrational movement pushes on a paper or plastic speaker cone attached to the coil, which moves a larger volume of air and creates the sound. The bigger the speaker cone, the more air which is moved and the louder the sound. I don't have room for a large heavy speaker in my armor, so I used an exciter instead. An exciter is also an electromagnetic coil very similar to a regular speaker, but instead of it being attached to a paper cone, it's attached to any hard surface which you have available. It's attached using strong adhesive peel and stick tape and the surface it attaches to then becomes the speaker. For example, you could stick it to a table, a wall, a piece of foam board, metal, a floor or any large flat surface. This adhesive is very strong and reliable, but once you adhere the adhesive to a surface, there's no easy way of moving it, so keep that in mind. Exciters are much smaller than a similar rated speaker and much more powerful because the entire surface of the object it's attached to becomes the speaker and moves the air creating the sound. Some materials work better than others and materials which vibrate tend to work the best. Another benefit of an exciter is that the sounds appear to come from all directions around you, whereas from a speaker, the sound appears very localized at the front of the speaker cone. This will be especially beneficial for me since the exciters will be mounted in my backpack and yet the sound will appear to come from all around me making it much more intriguing. I attached two exciters to the outer and inner shell of my backpack since those were the two biggest surfaces I had to work with. The exciters are actually so loud and so powerful that I had to turn the amplifier way down or it felt like they would just tear the backpack apart from the vibrations. It's really loud. I should also mention that you don't need to use two exciters or two speakers. In fact, one will work just fine and then you could use a simpler mono amplifier instead of a stereo amp. This will allow you to make the voice changer even smaller, but with only one speaker it won't be quite as loud. If you wanted to use this for an armor costume, you could attach the exciter to any large stiff surface. If it's attached to the inside of a stiff helmet, then the entire helmet becomes the speaker and resonates the sound. If you don't have a large surface to use for an exciter, then you can go with a simpler, more conventional option such as a mini amplified speaker like this one. This is a speaker and an audio amplifier in one, and it can amplify the audio signal from the voice changer when it's connected. It's small enough that you could hide it somewhere in a suit or a costume, possibly on the belt or under a cape. It won't be as powerful as the exciter, but it's still loud and it's cheap and it's simple. Any small amplified speaker like this with an audio input jack would work. The microphone is an important part of this design and having the wrong type of microphone will give you poor results or no results at all. Fortunately, the microphone is included with this kit. It's a special pre-amplified Electrek microphone and it's perfectly matched to the Arduino circuit. The seller I'm going to tell you about at the end of the video also offers a throat microphone option at an additional cost for use with this setup. The throat microphone goes around your neck and picks up the audio from your throat and amplifies it and sends it into the Arduino circuit. This could be especially useful for something like a Batman costume where placing a microphone inside a Batman cowl would be very difficult. I've tested the throat microphone and it does work great, but it doesn't sound quite as clear as the other microphone. For my armor, I went with the regular Electret microphone and installed it in my helmet near my mouth. This meant that I had to deal with the audio cable, so I installed a small audio jack in the side of my backpack and routed it under my armor and up to the front of my neck to the inside of my helmet. I used adhesive velcro to attach the microphone to the inside of my helmet. I could have used the throat microphone to make this process much easier, but I felt that the improvement in sound quality made it worth the extra hassle. Here's a demonstration of the various parts and how to hook them together. I 3D printed a special mounting bracket to hold the voice changer and the amplifier in a very compact arrangement. Here's a demonstration of how it sounds. Tell me, do you bleed? You will.
Final Ferry Butter Bar, Final Ferry Butter Bar. The ability to destroy a planet is insignificant next to the power of the Force. One shall stand, one shall fall. Autobots, transform and roll out. Please put down your weapon. You have 20 seconds to comply. We represent the Lollipop Guild, the Lollipop Guild, the Lollipop Guild. Here's a comparison between the Electret microphone and the Throat microphone. I find your lack of faith disturbing. I find your lack of faith disturbing. Now I understand that I don't sound exactly like these characters, but it gives you an example of how the voice changer sounds and what you can do with it. You'll still need to do a little bit of voice acting. Like I said before, it only alters the pitch of your voice and doesn't alter the characteristics at all. Still, it's the highest quality pitch bending voice changer solution that I've seen so far. You can buy a kit directly from Adafruit and solder it yourself and program the Arduino with the code which they provide. Adafruit has an in-depth tutorial on their website. This option will save you some money, but it requires a lot more technical knowledge such as soldering and microcontroller programming. Currently the Wave Shield is out of stock on their website, but I was able to find some on eBay and a few other vendors after searching online. Let me know in the comments section if you'd like me to do an in-depth video tutorial on how to build and program this voice changer step by step. If there's enough interest in it, then I might consider making a longer tutorial video. If you don't want to build it yourself, then you can buy it ready to use from a seller on Etsy. This will cost you a lot more, but it will be assembled and ready to go. This Etsy store apparently buys the kits from Adafruit and he then builds and programs it himself and sells it. Just be aware that it often takes about four to five weeks for it to arrive from the time you order it, so plan way in advance. And FYI, I don't receive any financial compensation from this seller or from Adafruit since neither of them has an affiliate program. I've included links in the description to everything I've used, but be aware that many of these parts are often backordered and are becoming more difficult to find in stock. As the technology advances, these types of voice changers will continue to become smaller and more affordable, and when they do, I'll make a new updated video about it. But I'm curious, what do you plan on using a voice changer for? Let me know in the comments below if you plan to use it for a Halloween costume, cosplay, a superhero suit, or something else. Thanks for watching, and check out this video to see how I installed my previous Mark I voice changer, which is much bigger and much more expensive, but it's capable of creating some very advanced voice effects.